I'm going to talk to you today about setting up and using your Combro CB625 Mark IV. They're available online directly from um, the people who import them. Um, the box comes with some instructions which are pretty clear and easy to follow but I'll talk you through them anyway. And if you take it out there is the main unit which has a number written in pencil on it when you first take it out the box. Um, it's worth making a note of this number and um, writing it in this box that's provided with the with the unit. Um, it's it's used in the future if you ever need to calibrate your unit. So um, just make sure you make a note of it because obviously with it being pencil, it's going to rub off with use. The um, what I want to show you is um, how to mount it to your to your silencer. There's a number of options. You can do, like I've done on this one, using elastic bands. Um, your best bet is to use a lot of elastic bands, but as you can see, it's still a little bit flexible, which is fine for PCPs because PCPs don't have recoil. But if you're using a Springer, um, you will probably end up shooting your chronograph. So what I find the easiest thing to do is get a silencer, line that up kind of with the end of the silencer, and then use some insulation tape, which you can get from just about anywhere. And in this case, it's a nice bright yellow. And just tape it to the silencer. A good few goes around to make sure it's nice and solid. You can use other things like cable ties and Velcro um, straps. Um, or rubber bands like I said earlier and then it's easier to do this with this, the silencer not actually attached to the rifle at the stage so it's a lot safer and you're not having to look down a barrel of the gun um, lift that up Combro do sell a, um, an alignment tool which basically you push in, I'll show you in a second and it's got a handy little torch that um, you can use for you know, checking down your barrel to make sure that nothing's stuck in there and all the rest of it um, it's got a ruler on it. I'm not sure why you need that, but there we go. Um, you would feed that in. Um, it can only go in one way. It's got little slots underneath which fit in like that. And basically the writing will line up with the Combro if you want to get it the right way around. And as you can see, that's not going in. It's, um, it's caught short of the hole, so loosen that and push the unit up until that goes in nicely. And that's gone in my straight line. Tighten that up. Take the alignment tool out and just check that it's nicely lined up, no obstructions, and it's nice and rigid. Then the next step will be to screw this onto your air gun. We are going to set the weight for the pellets on this. So the first thing you want to do is press reset and hold it screen will come on, then it'll go off, and then it'll come back on, and when you let go, the last digit will be flashing. The pellets we're using are JSB exacts, and they are 15.9 grain. Um, I know that because that is a weight I found on the internet, and I've weighed them, and that's pretty much the average weight of them. Um, some tins do show you the actual weight in grains, um, but it's always worth weighing them to make sure because often the weight specified on the tin is just an average and not the same throughout. Right, at the moment the 9 is flashing but we want the 9 so we want to push PDS which will then make the other 9 flash and we want to change that to 5 by pressing FPS. There you go. So now we've got 15.9 and if you press reset that brings you back to the start screen and the rectangular box. So now we're ready to fire some pellets through into a safe backstop. Right, as you can see, that's 6.76 foot pounds or 437 feet per second. If you press FPS, it gives you the feet per second reading, and if you press PDS, it gives you the foot pound reading. Right, this is obviously very low powered, so we reset it again. 
Okay, I've adjusted the power up slightly. So we'll try again. That's about as good as you want it, 11.5 foot-pounds or 671 foot, uh, feet per second. Any more than that and you run the risk of your gun going over the limit. Um, I'm going to show you what the Chrono does if you go over the 12 foot-pounds limit, but I am an RFD and it's. Um, I'm just showing you so that you know what to look out for on your own gun. Right, 591 feet per second. You'll see there's a little FAC logo or symbol that's come up on the screen. Um, if it goes over 12 foot pounds, that little um, logo comes up, and that's 12.34 foot pounds, which is now classed as a Section 1 firearm in the UK. So um, it definitely needs to be turned down which I'm going to do now. There we go, 11.8 is going down, but we need to go down some more. 11.78 11 I need to go down some more. Eleven point six. Um, ideally, we want to keep it going down a little bit more. There you go. That's about as good as it gets. That ends my um, talk about this combo. Um, it's they they at the moment they forty pounds and eighty p delivered, which, as far as I'm concerned, is money well spent. You spend you know five six hundred pounds on a gun. Uh, you know, however much on scopes and mounts and gun bags and everything else, um, and it could all be taken away, and your life could be ruined by getting a prison sentence. So, um, for, to me, it's a no-brainer. Forty pounds eighty gets you something that you can keep an eye on your power, even if you can't adjust the power yourself. At least you know um, if it's creeping up or low on power, and you can also keep an eye on the consistency of the rifle. Um, and like I said earlier, it's your responsibility to make sure that your gun doesn't go over the limit with any commercially available pellet on the market and it does mean investing in a tin of pellets to um, to make sure you um, you know the, the ones that are most efficient I tend to find in regulated rifles that in 177 the um, something like the Bisley Magnums or JSB exact heavies, which are 10.3 grain, um, are probably one of the best types of pellets to set the power up. And then in 2.2, I tend to use JSB exacts, the ones I've just been using for this. Um, they have jumbos, which are um, 15.9 grain. Um, and as far as I know, they're the same pellet as the AA field, um, which are marked up as 16 grain on the tin. Um, again, if you set up a regulated rifle using those pellets, there's a pretty good chance that it'll never go over the limit with any other pellet. But obviously it's worth checking because not all guns are the same. And there we go.